Welcome to day 29 of the 30 day yoga challenge. Today we are focusing on the lower body working towards compass pose. When you are ready, we'll begin in child's pose. So you have the option to keep your knees together or open them wide. If you have sensitive knees, place something underneath them for a little bit more cushion. And reach your arms forwards, lower yourself down and take rest for the first few breaths here. Just checking in with your body, seeing how everything's doing today. And establishing a steady breath. The breath that you will work with throughout practice. Walk your hands to the right side of your mat and stack the left hand on top of the right. Stretching down the left side body. Then walk the hands to the left side, stacking the right hand over the left, stretching down the right side body. Walk the hands back through center and lift yourself up into tabletop, setting the hands and the knees. Then lift your right knee out to the side and start to draw circles with the leg, circling the leg away from the body a few times, in towards the body a few times. Then open the knee out to the side and extend the leg, lower the foot, in line with the left knee. Then reach your left arm up with an inhale. As you exhale, thread the left arm under the right, lower your shoulder, lower your head to the mat, and wrap your right arm behind your back here. If this does feel too wobbly, you could always reach the right arm forwards but the bind is intended to prepare you for today's class. Press back up to tabletop. Then lift your right leg and sweep it behind your left. Stack the knees one in front of the other and open your feet wide to create space. Then sit yourself back in that space you just created. If this feels too much for the leg that is underneath, then extend the leg and lift the leg that is on top so that your knee has a little bit more support. Options here, you can either rest both hands on the knees or reach your right arm up, bend the elbow so that the hand reaches down the back. Bring the left arm behind the back and reach the arm up so that the hands draw towards one another. It's okay if they don't quite meet, you could hold your clothing. If they do, then clasp the hands together.
release the bind of the arms, then come forwards and release the legs to find tabletop. Open the left knee out to the side and start to circle the leg away from the body a few times. Then into the body a few times. Open the knee to the side, extend the leg and lower the foot in line with the right knee. Inhale to reach your right arm up, turning your chest open. Exhale, thread right arm under, left, lower your shoulder, lower your head down to the mat. And wrap the left arm behind the back. If this is too much though, the left hand could always come forwards. Lift yourself back up onto your hands. Then sweep the left leg behind the right, stacking the knees one on top of the other. Open your legs out to the sides and sit back in this space you just created. If this is too much for the knees, extend the leg that is underneath and lift the knee that is on top. Option to rest both hands on the knees or lift the left arm up. Bend your elbow and reach for your upper back. And reach the right arm down, bend the elbow, and reach the hand up. So that the hands draw towards one another. Either using your clothing here or clasping the hands together. Release the hands, come forwards and reset in tabletop. Then keeping the hips stacked over the knees, walk your hands forwards and sink your chest down to find puppy pose. Option to rest the forehead or the chin on the mat. If you'd like a little bit more here, make tents with your fingers to create a little bit more space for the chest to sink into. Inhale to lift your chest, bring the hands under the shoulders, but turn your fingers to face the side of the mat. Start to rock side to side. If you'd like a little more of a challenge here, tuck your toes, hover your knees as you rock side to side. Just warming into the wrists. Focus on pressing the floor away. If you're hovering your knees, lower them down. Then flip your hands so that the fingers face one another and press the floor away, just pausing, holding a still position. Release your hands, fingers face forwards. Then tuck your toes, lift your hips, come back to downward dog. Start to pedal out your legs and sway the hips side to side, creating space in down dog. Then step your feet a little bit closer to you and step them as wide as your mat. Bring the left hand to the middle of the mat and the right hand to the outside of the left leg or ankle. Twist to gaze under your left arm and focus on pressing through the left hand for support. Take a big breath in. Exhale out. One more breath here. 
Exhale to release. Plant the right hand where the left is and bring your left hand to the right leg or right ankle. Twist to gaze under the right arm. Focus on pressing through the right hand. Inhale deeply. Exhale completely. One more breath here. Inhale. Exhale. Reset your downward dog, hands, shoulders width, feet, hips width. And looking forward, step the right foot to the outside of the right hand, lower your back knee down, settle in for a lizard lunge. Either staying on the hands or if you're feeling ready, you could start lowering further down. Lift your chest, step your back foot to the outside of the left hand and step the right foot back. Lower the knee and settle in for lizard on this side. Lift your chest. Step the back foot to the outside of the right hand and sit your hips back like you're coming into a chair position but a wide chair. Arms will reach forwards, chest is level to the ground here. Continue shifting your weight back through your heels. Exhale, fold all the way forwards. Inhale, lift halfway. Exhale, step to plank. Pushing the floor away, hold for breath in. You could always lower the knees if you're modifying. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale to sphinx, bringing the forearms to the mat. Lift your chest, roll your shoulders back. Exhale, step to down dog. Lifting the right leg high, open out the hip. Inhale. Exhale, step the foot in between the hands, open out the back foot, windmill your arms come up to find warrior two. Straight in the front leg, start to bend your back knee, shifting your weight towards your back heel, coming about halfway down. It's like a side lunge position. Hold your pose. Inhale. Exhale, come back to warrior two, straightening the back leg, rebending the front. Inhale in position. Exhale, straighten the front leg, bend the back knee. This time maybe you go a little bit lower. You could always use your hands for support. Start to flex the right foot. Inhale in position. Exhale, straight in the back leg, rebound the front knee, come back to warrior two, final time. Inhale here. Exhale, lower the right hand down, reach the left arm up, turning your chest open for extended side angle. If having the hand on the ground is out of reach, you could bring the right forearm to the thigh. Lower the left hand down, step back to plank, holding for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing, or you could take cobra if that feels better. Exhale to down dog. Lift the left leg high, open your hip. Inhale. Exhale, step the foot forwards, open out your back foot, windmill your arms, come up to find warrior two. Exhale, relax your shoulders. Then straightening the front leg, bend your back knee. Exhale, sink the hips towards the right heel, coming down about halfway into this side lunge position. Inhale here. Exhale, straight in the back leg, rebound the front, come back to warrior two. Inhale. 
exhale. Straight in the front leg, re-bend the back, sinking a little further down, perhaps flexing the left foot this time for Skandasana. You can use your hands on the floor if you're needing support. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, come back through to warrior two. Then either lowering the left forearm to the thigh as the right arm reaches up, or bringing the left hand to the inside of the foot for extended side angle. Lower the right hand down, step back to plank. Inhale, hold your pose. Exhale, lower down with control. Inhale, find your back bend of choice. Exhale to down dog. Then rippling forwards to the top of a high plank. Open out into side plank on your right. If you're modifying, the right knee is down. Bend the left leg, lift the knee, and really slowly step the foot forwards in line with the right hand. Keep spinning to your right, open out your back foot, and sink the hips to the left heel, coming into Skandasana. You can use your hands for support on the ground. Flex the right heel so you press the heel into the ground, and hold your pose. Then turn to face forwards, come into lizard. Lower your back knee down. Start to bend your arms, lower your chest, trying to get the chest as low as you can. Then reach the left arm through the left leg and try to reach the arm around the back of the leg. Option to stay here so you've still got your right hand for support. If you'd like to go further, the right arm can reach back to catch the left hand. So you're coming into a bound lizard. If you'd like a little bit more of a challenge, tuck the back toes, lift the knee. Keep your chest low. Release the bind, plant the right hand and reach your left arm up with an inhale. Exhale and come back into side plank, either heel toeing the left foot or picking it up and placing it there. The right knee could come down if you're modifying. Hold for a breath in. Exhale, come back to plank. Holding for a breath. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, find your back bend of choice. Exhale to down dog. Ripple to the top of a high plank and open out to side plank on your left. This time if you're modifying, the left knee will come down. Then the right leg lift the knee and slowly step the foot forwards in line with the left hand. Keep spinning to your left, open out your back foot and sink your hips towards your right heel to come to Skandasana. Flex the left foot and press the heel into the ground for support. It's okay if your right heel is lifted here. You can either use your hands for stability or bring hands to prayer. Turn to face forwards, coming into lizard. Lower your back knee down. And start to bend your arms, lower your chest, getting as low as you can. Reach the right arm through the leg and wrap the arm around the back of the leg. Now this may be as far as you would like to take it. If so, you're just working your bind from here. If you'd like to go one step further, the left arm will reach back, bringing the hands together or holding onto the clothing. And the final part of this, if you'd like to go there, is to lift the back knee. Stay as low as you can in your bound lizard. Beautiful, release the bind, plant the left hand, reach your right arm up, inhale as you twist open. 
Exhale, come back to your side plank, either heel toeing the right foot in place or picking up the foot and placing it there. If you're modifying, left knee is down. Hold for an inhale as you press the floor away. Exhale to find plank. Holding for a breath in. Exhale, chaturanga. Go slow on the way down to the ground. Inhale to find your back bend of choice. Exhale back to down dog. And looking forwards, lower your knees, come down into a kneeling position and swing your legs round to find a seat. And keep the left leg on the mat in front of you and lift the right leg up using your hands for support so that you can cradle the leg from side to side. You can either have both hands under the leg or bring your foot to the left elbow crease and the right elbow crease to the knee. Trying to lift the lower leg as close to your chest as you can. Okay. Bring the right hand to hold onto the right foot and place the left hand by your side for support. Start by lifting up the right side buttocks. So all of your weight is on your left side and you can lift the right leg a little higher here. Then left hand will come back to the foot as you bring the right arm down to the mat. Try to bring the leg so that it rests on the back of the shoulder. This can take a little bit of adjusting then keeping the left hand on the foot, right hand on the mat. Start to extend the leg. This can feel a little awkward. Don't worry if the leg doesn't completely extend. As you extend the leg, turn your chest to the left, coming into compass. Steadying your breath here. To release, re-bend the knee, release the twist and slowly come out. Lowering your right leg down, we'll repeat on the second side. So start by holding left leg, cradling from side to side, either keeping both hands holding onto the foot or bringing the left elbow crease to the left knee and the foot to the right elbow crease like so. Trying to lift your leg as close to your chest as you can. This will really help in the next few steps. Then bring the left hand to hold onto the foot, right hand by your side, sit over on your right side so that you lift the left side buttocks. Then the right hand will come back to take a hold of the foot as you bring your left arm down, trying to bring the leg and place it above your shoulder. So the back of the knee rests on the back of the shoulder. And place the left hand on the ground, start to extend the leg. And as you extend the leg, turn your chest open to the right. Find a place to focus your gaze and steady your breath. Slowly release. Then extend both legs out to the side, coming into a straddle position. You decide how wide you go. Bring the hands in between the legs and start to fold forwards, going a little bit by little bit, easing yourself into the fold. And then we'll take a few moments to rest in this position.
slowly lift yourself back up. Bend your knees and bring your legs in just a little bit wider than hips width. You can use your hands behind you for support as you knock your knees from side to side. And then come and lie down on your back. Hug your left knee into your chest. And then draw the knee across to the left side of the mat, coming into a supine twist. Reach your right arm out to the right side, and if it feels okay for the head and neck, you can turn your head to the right. Soften your eyes closed here and settle into stillness. Release the twist. Next, stand the right leg down the mat. Then hug the left knee into your chest. Pausing here a moment. Draw the knee across to the right side of your mat. Reach the left arm out to the left side. And if it feels okay for the head and neck, gaze over to the left. Release the twist, then extend the left leg and find your way into Shavasana. Relaxing the arms by your side, separating the legs so that they can roll out to the sides also.
Begin to deepen your breath. Finding small movements in the fingers and toes. Maybe rolling out the hands and the feet. And hug your knees into your chest and slowly roll onto your side. When you're ready, join me back in a seated position. Just keeping the eyes closed for now. And with an inhale, lift your shoulders up by your ears. Exhale, relax them back and down, letting go of anything that you've been carrying on your shoulders. And when you're ready, flick your eyes open. Thank you so much for your time and your energy, not just today, but throughout this whole challenge, throughout this whole process. I really appreciate you being here and I will see you tomorrow for the final day. Wow.